Hi guys, welcome to the lesson of ordinary differential equations. So in today's class, we are going to discuss uh, Torricelli's law. So in the previous classes, we already discussed some uh, applications of the ordinary differential equations. So now uh, we will see how this law works. So Torricelli's law is very important in hydrodynamics and fluid dynamics, fluid mechanics, and now we can consider a tank, first of all, that is uh, occupied by some liquid, say it's water, and the depth of the liquid is given by H, and there is a hole at the bottom of the tank, and the area of the tank is given by a W, and area of the hole is given by a H. So the law states that the speed, that is a flux, uh, a flux of... Uh, water through the edge hole at the bottom of a tank filled to a depth h that is already mentioned here is the same as the speed that a body uh, would acquire in falling freely from a height so we know that if a, a body falls freely from a height the kinetic energy of the body equals potential energy by the conservation of energy and we have uh, kinetic energy is given by half mv squared and potential energy mgh therefore this cancelled out and we get v square equals 2gh so v equals square root of 2gh so this is actually the expression uh, which comes from the conservation of energy and again the volume of water leaving the tank per second is uh, volume of water is uh, a h times a square root of t uh, 2 g h uh, uh, volume uh, with respect to time that is leaving the tank per second so we can write here that dv over dt and this will be negative because the volume is decreasing so this expression expresses the relation of volume in terms of the height and again we can modify this expression by saying that dv over dt equals d uh, v over dh times dh over dt so by chain rule uh, we can do this and where this dv over dh is simply equals to aw so that is the area basically of this uh, tank All right so now uh, we can uh, replace this thing here in the expression above. So we have dH over dt times this a w equals negative ah, where this ah is the area of the hole is uh, equals to negative h times square root two gh. So dH over dt equals negative a h over a w times a square root of 2 g h so this is the expression for uh, uh, the height of the uh, tank from where the liquid is draining out so we can take some examples based on this Torricelli's law so let's uh, Let's start with an example that a cylindrical tank of height 2 meter and radius 0.3 meter filled uh, to the top with water and how long does it take the tank to drain once a hole of diameter 4 centimeter is open. So the diameter of the hole is given as four centimeter and the time required uh, to drain the tank is uh, required in the question is asked so we have the tank and the radius of the tank is given and also the diameter of the hole is given at the bottom so there is a hole at the bottom and uh, the area of the tank we can compute easily because the radius is given so it's pi r squared and area of the hole is again we have the diameter so we can convert this four centimeter to 
uh, mirror so it will be 0 0.04 and it will be pi d squared over 4 and in this way we can work out this problem then we have the expression that dh over dt equals negative a w uh, so it's not a w it's uh, basically a h over a w so it's negative a h over a w times the square root of 2 g h all right so we are given with the area of the hole so we can easily an area of the water we can find by these diameters and radius so we have uh, d h uh, over a square root of h this is a separable equation sense so we can easily shift the uh, compatible terms on the uh, right and left side so uh, dh by under root h and on the right side we have a square root of 2g times this ratio of the area with this dt now we can simply integrate uh, this expression so it will be h to the power negative half plus one or negative half plus one equals uh, negative a h over a w times a square root of 2g t plus c now we can simplify this expression uh, to get h of t so we have h power half two here and negative a h over a w times root 2g t plus c then we can simply shift this to the right side we will get a h over a w oh, times g over 2 in square root times t plus c 1 say because when 2 is multiplied by the constant c it's again a constant so we name it c1 so now this h is a function of time and uh, we can easily compute the height at any time t now if we proceed further in the similar manner we can compute this thing here because we are given with the data and we already know that g equals 9.81 meter per second square so we will get this expression a h over a w times a square root of g over t uh, g over 2 so this comes out to be a h is pi r squared that is radius of the tank is given and this is pi d is squared over 4 this is the diameter of hole so this pi cancels out and square root g over 2 as it is and we can solve this using the calculator so we get this thing as 0. 009838 so replace this expression in the above equation we get of h of t equals uh, c1 minus 0 0.009838 t and uh, one more thing which i missed here is that because it was uh, h power half here therefore we need to take a square on this whole term so there is a square on this whole term right now we can simply find the c1 by applying the initial condition that is given the height of the tank is two meters so at time zero so it will be c1 minus zero squared this implies that c1 equals a square root of two now plug in this uh, square root of t in the original expression so it will be square root of 2 minus 0.009838 t squared right now we need to find the time where the tank is uh, completely drained out right so what we can do here is that we can simply find the time where the tank is going to be drained so height is 
two meter so if the tank is drained out completely so the height will be now zero so therefore plug zero equals a square root of two minus zero point zero zero nine eight three eighty squared take a uh, square root on both sides so again we get zero equals a square root of two minus zero point zero zero nine eight three eight d and then we move this uh, to the right side and simplify the expression we get a square root of two divided by this thing right now using calculator uh, we can compute this easily so it's a square root of two divided by 0 0.009838 so we get t equals 143.75 seconds all right so uh, this comes out to be 143.75 seconds and if you want to find it in terms of minutes so we can divide it by 60 to get 2.3958 minutes so in this time uh, uh so it will take uh, 2.3958 minutes to drain out the tank completely uh given that uh uh, area of the hole and area of the tank and the depth of the water so in this manner we can solve these times uh, tackle these types of problems by using the territory sales law and hope you guys understand this lesson next time we'll come up with some more problems on the applications of the differential equations so that's all for the time being